In this video, we are going to discuss wavelength division multiplexing in abbreviated form it is WDM. So how this wavelength division multiplexing works? So let us discuss with this diagram. To utilize the high data rate capability of fiber optic cable, the WDM has been evolved, has been devised. So here we are having three different optical energies and they are having the respective wavelengths that is lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 and this is our WBM. So this WDM will enable them to go through in this particular form that is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 and at the receiving end we will be having another WDM which will again bifurcate these respective optical energies in the form of lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 in the splitted form. So, this is the way in which the wavelength division multiplexing is working. Here lambdas are actually denoting the wavelength for the respective optical energy. WDM is an analog multiplexing technique to combine optical signals. So, here you see here we have put one prism. So, just consider here we are having air, here we are having the glass, let it be the prism is made of the glass and then here also we are having this air. Then what will happen at this particular, at this particular point, this optical energy, the light ray will be suffering one refraction and when this light ray will be emerging out from this prism, then from the denser to the rarer medium it is coming out. So, another time the refraction will take place. So, we know that refraction is nothing but one property when the, the light ray will pass from denser to rarer or rarer to denser medium, then depending upon its angle of incidence, the angle of refraction will be decided and also the angle of refraction will be also determined by the refractive index between that pair of media. So, when this ray of light will be falling obliquely at this at the surface of intersection between these, these two media. So, here we are having this lambda 1 and lambda 2, lambda 3 and we shall be selecting its angle of incidence in such a way that after getting the final refracted uh, light coming out from this prism, the, all these rays are having the same in the same direction so that they can propagate through the optical fiber and at the receiving end again they will get bifurcated due to the using the property refraction by using another prism which will be working as a demultiplexer. So, in this way we have discussed that how this wavelength division multiplexing can happen and can be implemented. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.